Did you guys know the definition of emergency is a serious situation that requires immediate action? Imagine your loved ones under rubble in an earthquake or bombs being dropped in Gaza or in Yemen or in Afghanistan where there's an earthquake. Brothers and sisters, we're working with one Ummah to get immediate relief to those who are in need. Please go to the link and donate whatever you can, inshallah, and let this be a sadaqah jariah that you was, for your bro- you was there for your brothers and sisters when they needed you. Assalamu alaikum. Today we're going to be responding to a video between Tommy Robinson and Paul Golding in which they're discussing that Sneeko is actually funded and he's funded by the Saudis so that he can spread Islam. I think that's all push though. I think that's all money. I think that they're being approached and given financial benefits like Sneeko. I've watched as Islam's become quite fashionable in the recent years. Yeah. With lots of converts, lots of hot influential people doing oh, you see it on TikTok all the time. Mm-hmm. You go on TikTok every day and you're scrolling, you're guaranteed to come across at I least two, two white converts. Mm. Some, well, some of them are rapping, some yeah. of them, are, they're really embracing it. Yeah. I think that's all push though. I think that's all money. I think that they're being approached and given financial benefits like Sneeko to push, push Islam. And they get, I think, that, I think that when you think about it, Muslim, Islam and Saudi Arabia, Qatar, all these countries used to fund mosques and yeah. they'd fund dawah stalls to get out and promote and convert people. Yeah. That shifted. That's not the way to convert people anymore. This is the way to convert people with Absolutely. influencers. Yeah. So now they're funding the influencers. Well, one of the th- so this particular accusation, what do you think about one this? One second, one second. Are you trying to tell me he's getting Arab money? I think so. Or Iranian money. Sneeko, you've been exposed. You're going to be, you know, dealt with in a minute. So you are getting Arab money. How much do you get? How much are you sponsored? If they want to pay me, I'll, I'll take the money. Oh, okay. So they're not paying you? They're not paying me. End of video. There's no, no Arab money. So there's, then it's Iran money. <laughs> First, it was a shouty money. Yes. Sneeko is funding the yes. spread Islam to the Western boys. Yes. He said that several months ago. Yeah, the cokehead. Yes. The prostitute going cokehead. Right. And some people are saying like they want to debate him. They want to debate him. Like yeah. if he wants to fight, then we can fight. But, I, we do at this point. Yeah, but he's, he's very like I met him. He's like he comes to my hips. Is he? Yeah. Very That's why. I, yeah. Is he? Yeah. yeah, yeah. He's oh. a midget. Someone yeah. ripped a flag from him, and then he just stood there like a muppet. Do you know? Another time in, outside the, like a chicken shop or something. Yeah. Someone's wa- walking. So someone's walking, and then he falls over. I mean, he's a coward. So he's, he's an absolute coward. Not only that, the funny thing is though, like the irony is, you said a accusation is a well from these people from the Zionists, every accusation is like a is a confession. The funny thing is, there is not a single evidence that you are getting funded by anybody yeah. but there is ample of evidence that Loki has spoken about Tel Aviv Tommy being directly funded by Zionists yeah. like this is a known phenomena that everybody knows he's let, let exactly and he's made this very clear that he would even fight for them so he calls himself a patriot where he mocked the free deaths of British aid workers in Israel and he said if you play stupid games you win stupid prizes and you're supposed to be a patriot you was going to start a, a civil war in a, a riot that started in, in the UK you played a part in that this could be even a count to treason so you are here talking about patriotism and you was having time having a time in Cyprus while you're sending a little foot soldier little crackheads a drunk out of their heads so if there's anyone that's being funded it's actually you you're the one that's being funded by foreign government causing corruption in your own land and you know what's so, so interesting about that it was the Muslims who were calling for social cohesion alongside obviously other mm. people as well yeah. so the Muslims were not saying let's go out and riot and rob Greg's yes. of all places Greg's. and shoe zone and these t- nice sausage rolls, the, the halal ones it was the Muslims who were calling for social cohesion and here you have a person who's supposed to be a patriot, a nationalist, and he's calling for social upheaval, he's calling for rioting, he's calling for anarchy yeah. in a country. And what does that lead to? One night of anarchy in a country is something that could lead to mass killings, mass rapes, mass robberies, total destruction. Look what happened during the London riots. Yeah. It nearly happened, but the people of Britain, who are mostly peace-loving people, they realized yes. this is just an agenda which we don't want to fall into. And thankfully, the they government, so they can take the agenda of what they're doing in Palestine, the atrocities they're c- c- coming to Palestine they wanted to change it and they used this little intellectual flipping midget to do that and it didn't work and I believe this scumbag his hatred for Islam is greater than his love for his country and those innocent free girls that were used as a pawn to start these riots because the person that did was who? Axel yes this guy who was a church going individual yes but they don't talk about that and then not only that in Leicester Square where we do dawah there was a, a little girl 11 year old girl who was being stabbed by a Romanian Christian country again yes and who, who saved them? a Muslim security guard came to the rescue which we interviewed a Pakistani migrant whose his family is like scholars, etc. Yeah. So did he talk about that? Well, yeah, so I, I, I want to take it back to something Sneeko was saying to us before, which is Islam is filling that void, right? And this is the thing that I think you were saying yesterday or today, Sneeko, about the fact that for people, Islam is an alternative, and which is why Tommy Robinson speaking about the dawah. 
he's speaking about Sneeko being funded because they're realizing there's a void and Muslims are filling that void. That they this can't fill. They right, because right. he's trying to, he wants to connect to the Western youth. And he saw my video, Letter from Mecca, and he was, he admitted in that video that you're talking about, like, it was very good. Like, he, he liked the editing. He, yeah. he probably, it was good dawah for him. Yeah. And so he, he yeah. it's, it's on Twitter. I mean, because I'm banned on YouTube. But um, that video, he wants to have the same effect on the Western youth. He wants to be able to resonate with them. That dawah was probably so effective that even on the, one of the biggest haters of Islam, he was like, started to realize, okay, maybe there is one God. So he, he had to insist that I was getting paid the, the same way he's getting paid. I think since October 7th, we're realizing that every accusation is a confession. The same thing they said about the 40 beheaded babies and about all the graping that was going on, they're doing it. And it's not even a conspiracy. They're putting these people on TV. They said that Hamas was doing all these evil things to Taurus. They weren't doing any of that. There's no evidence of that. Like guys like Patrick Bet Davis says, what about the videos of Hamas graping? There are none. It does not exist. In fact, the IDF has soldiers that are being paraded around on TV for successfully doing what they accuse Hamas of. So when you, ever since October 7th, we realize that every everything they try to blame us for, they're doing themselves. They, uh, Tommy Robinson, uh, Stephen Yaxi Lennon, his real name is, he's saying that Muslims are causing riots and they're burning and all this stuff. That's what the far right is doing. Everything that they blame us for, they're complicit of. You know remember what? there was a riot. Remember, yeah. not a, like there was a situation where people were demanding that those people who were forcibly raping those Palestinians, oh. that that is a right. Like, just think about that. They're not writing, saying this is a false news. It's yeah. for their right to. For their ability to do it more. Yeah. It's unbelievable, man. You know, it's, it's like that. You know, when, when someone is a thief, he thinks everyone's a thief like him. If you give him to your phone, he, he will never give you his phone to look after it because he'll think, if I was to do that, I'd steal it. So because this Tel Aviv Tommy cokehead, prostitute going scumbag, um, he thinks because he gets funded, everyone's like him. He cannot fathom the fact that Sneeko has done his own research and said, this makes sense to me. He cannot fathom the fact, like, of course, Andrew Tate and many others, they are coming to Islam. It doesn't register. They're, they're thinking it's impossible. There has to be money involved. They cannot understand yeah. How, how is it possible that all of these people are coming to Islam? Yeah. You know why? Because Islam is the truth. And this message of Islam, the Prophet peace be upon him said, will enter every single household. And it's coming to a household near you, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you, Sneeko. May Allah bless you, inshallah. We don't need to spread Islam by the sword. All I need is some good videos, yeah, yeah, good dawah. Not only that, it. Allah says in the Quran, jihadun kabira. The scholars say the greatest, greater form of jihad. And you know what the scholars interpret this as? The Quran. The Quran is the greatest form of jihad. If you just let us, you talk about freedom of speech, let us just do dawah. Wallahi, that's the only thing we need. We don't need mass weapons of destruction. Let us preach the Quran. Wallahi, I've noticed in the dawah tables that we do, yeah? People are flocking to Islam, bro. We cannot even keep up. Bro, there's so many. We're thinking aftercare. You know aftercare we have for shahadas, yeah? Like you would know, for example, praying and all this kind of having connection, you know. All that stuff is getting difficult. You know why? There's not enough resources. So many people come into Islam, inshallah. And I hope and I make dua, Tommy Robinson's children come to Islam, inshallah. Let me uh, give you an example. Off camera, I was asking Ali Dawa for some of his prayer mats that he gives to new reverts, yeah. where it teaches you on the prayer mat how to pray. I was, I wanted to give out some more. He's like, we don't have any more. <laughs> bro, 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 we, we ran had, out. We had 8,000 orders because we give them for free. We yeah. don't charge them. We give them out for free for people to learn how to pray. We had 8,000 orders. Our admin team said, can you please take the website down? We cannot deal with it. It's been nearly one and a half months. We've just sent about four and a half thousand. We've got another three and a half thousand before our new website comes. The point is what, guys? Salahplus.com. If you are a new Muslim or a Muslim who doesn't know how to pray Salah, you can order it for absolutely free. All the donations that you give, like I said before, I'm a trustee. I don't get paid a single penny. It goes directly. Not like Tommy Robinson. Donations coming in, having cocaine parties and going to prostitutes, yeah? We don't do that, alhamdulillah. Every single penny, I got all the receipts. Let me know what time is. But that's the difference because for them to spread their ideology they yes. do it for the sake of money for yes. cocaine we do it for the sake of Allah Inshallah. Alhamdulillah Sneeko you know what from so now your, your name is Sneeko Dawa Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh